You guys. You guys. Like, do you see this? Do you see this? Look at this. It's all over my teeth. Let's back it up a little bit. So, hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. This is a follow-up video of my, um, probably most, uh, controversial, uh, review that I've ever done. Uh, I really didn't set out for it to be controversial, but apparently it turned out that way. So, I did a review of the Makeup Revolution Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer, and... This is what the box looks like. Um, I got before the hot pink color. Uh, I think it was You Took My Love. I will link the video down below if you'd like to see that. But it was the absolute worst lip product I have ever used in my life. It is supposed to be a matte liquid lip product and it did not dry down at all. It stayed tacky on my lips like tar and ended up ripping the skin of my lips whenever I tried to take it off because it was so tacky. And, um, I'm kind of stepping into the lion's den. A lot of people had very strong opinions on this liquid lip product. Felt like I just didn't know what I was doing um, or that something must be wrong with me. Uh, so yeah, I mean, guys, let's keep in mind that this is makeup. Every single thing is going to perform differently on everybody. Nobody's holy grail is without someone else hating that exact same product. So just keep that in mind. This is lighthearted. This is makeup. It's not that big of a deal, guys. But this is my experience with these products, and I'm going to put it out there because I have a channel. So here's my follow-up now that that disclaimer is out of the way. I went out and purchased last month two more of these liquid lipsticks because I wanted to do my research and see, was it just a fluke that that one color was really, really bad? I got Vamp, which is a dark purple. It's what I'm wearing right now. And then I also got Attract, which is a really lovely looking red. I will put that on a little bit later in the video so that you guys can see that on me as well. Now, the difference between these and the pink one. Once I put these on, they do dry down immediately within three minutes it is completely matte completely dry transfer proof which is great I thought wow I really must have just had bad luck with that first one and now these two are gonna be amazing and I'm gonna finally get to experience what everyone else thought was so great about these products now the thing is uh, within 15 minutes of putting this product on after it's completely dry, as soon as you start talking, let alone drinking or eating, just talking, and your lips start moving around, it starts crumbling off. You guys can see how much I have on my teeth right now, just whenever I'm talking, and that's not a good look, guys. It's already, it's already coming off on the insides of my lips, and I've just been talking. I've been talking for like a maximum of 30 minutes right now. I put on the lipstick, I took a couple phone calls, I talked, I watched TV, I talked to my dogs, and then I started filming this, and it's already going everywhere. And just to show you, one swipe and my finger just takes it right off of my lips. Now that does not happen with my Anastasia liquid lipstick or my Stila liquid lipstick. It doesn't happen, guys. If I touch my lip and rub a little bit, it doesn't come off. This is crumbling and flaking, it's just everywhere. This is not a good look. I don't want, I don't want stuff all over my teeth. So guys, I'm going to take this off, put on the red one. We're going to come back and I'm going to continue talking about this. Hey okay, guys, we are back. It's been about 30 minutes now. I put, took off the other one, put this one on and here's where we're at. I mean, it looks like my teeth are bleeding. Like, ugh. I'm so disappointed because you guys, this color is so gorgeous. I love this color. I just wish that it lived up to its claims. This is not long wearing. It is transfer proof. However, <laughs> nobody's gonna wanna kiss you if you have little flakes of lip color all over your teeth. It's not a cute look, guys. It's not a cute look. And in this instance, you totally get what you pay for. I paid $5 a piece for these and that's $5 that I'm not getting back. <laughs> I mean, cause I'm not gonna bother to return them 
I have them that I can, you know, compare if I ever do a liquid lipstick video, but um, this is bad, guys. This is really bad. I'm a firm believer in the fact that you can find drugstore dupes for a lot of nice things, but this is not, this is not good. I highly recommend that you save your money and you go for a Stila, which is $24, or an Anastasia lipstick, which is $20, because I bought three of these, spent $15. Five more dollars, I could have had another Anastasia. I hope that this demonstrates just how bad these are. Because I know in my last video, I didn't even bother wearing it for the review because my lip was still healing. It was still bleeding as I was filming the review three days after it had caused the ripping of my skin. So, you know, of course I'm not going to keep wearing that thing whenever it's like that. But these... I really, really thought whenever they dried down matte that it was really going to turn around and I was going to end up loving this product, but this is bad. It is flat out bad. I really think that there might be um, a formula difference between the one that the UK version is and the one that we got here in our Ulta stores because the reviews on our Ulta website are really poor for this product. A lot of people are saying the exact same things that I am. And then you get comments on the videos saying, oh, these are amazing. But it's just really odd that so many people seem to really love them. And a lot of those people seem to be from uh, the UK. And then there's this. Because these are not good. Like, I don't want a lipstick where I can do that and it's coming off. That's, that's not good. It's not good, and I've already, I've got little flakes down here now. So, it's really hard to tell uh, what is accurate here. Um, is it a formula change, or is it just something like we see here in YouTube a lot where um, a company partners with people and they give only positive reviews? So, I don't know, but my review is 100% me, and I spent my money on these, and this is my experience if they worked out for you and you love them that is great i do not begrudge you that at all i wish that these worked out for me i feel like i have justified my experience with these now having tried three different colors had two completely different but equally bad experiences with this product so guys thank you so much for watching Please, again, do not take this as an insult toward you if you personally like this product. That is great. But just keep in mind that this is makeup and everybody has different experiences. And so, guys, that is it. I will see you next time. I'm going to go take this off before I eat, like, a whole tube of lipstick. <laughs> Bye! <sighs> Gross. You guys. <laughs> you guys.